for a love of elephants. Ba 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 ba. Hi guys, and welcome to a new episode on the channel. Today we will be talking about for the love of elephants. So let's get started. You know how sometimes in those types of movies where you can just combine two things together and you get a pretty bad version that might actually be good. Well, this is one of those times. Elephants, they're pretty useful, right? Well, a lot of people think that they're useful in getting hunted by ivory, but nowadays people are starting to have doubts on getting the hunting of these beasts. People now believe that it might be a better idea to actually just. Leave them alone and leave their ivory alone because it's their good thing and that's what it's for. That is actually how it works. Everything seems to be doing stuff right now, but as a, as we realize into our world of histories, we started to find out that elephants do actually have that good of a history. Our human migration history is good. Check out my videos on that if you want to. If I did make any videos, I do remember making videos on my human migration, but I don't know about elephant migration. I did not do that one, but there's a lot that we found out throughout these terms. Let me tell you a story. There's a guy named Douglas Ham. There's this guy named David Quammen who wrote in his extraordinary time at a game reserve in Samburu National Reserve, Kenya. I am Douglas Hamilton. Just stopped at, stopped at his tent. If I, if he wanted to drive out and see a few elephants, they decided to take a walk, and then later, they went and climbed sleeping elephant. The mother, they found a the mother with her babies, and then they didn't realize the mother was pretty angry. Mm, and then. The mother showed her anger. Mwanki and he turned and ran, and then they managed to put a safe distance from them and the elephants. Mwanki continued to run all the way back to the camp to help. At first, Douglas Hamilton also ran too, but then eventually he stopped and shouted. Then, he, David Quammen, ran all the way to Douglas Hamilton after he was attacked by the elephant with his, with her trunk getting around him and then almost stabbing him. But he wasn't really hurt. Nobody actually knew why he attacked, why she attacked him, or why she started to leave him alone in the end when she thought she might be an enemy. But what David liked to think was that. People loved to actually do stuff. People loved to. He loved to think that a lot of people seemed to have a good quality of perspectives. You might say. Well, I guess that's how it works. There's a lot that we might find out about this, but as we figure out in our worlds of social geographics, you might say, there's. So much we can do in this world that we actually haven't done yet, but as we figure out to how to do them, we start to figure out ways of of saving the elephants too. Then Douglas Hamilton did start to save the elephants organization, and then he is a pretty good one then. So I guess that's where we should leave this episode on. This is where I'll end this episode. If you know this episode, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Click the bell button so you will be notified whenever I will upload a video. And now, click either of these two places so you will watch a new episode. Shanhan out. Peace.